Hello all, welcome to our channel SOS Berlin. Here we explain the handling of our J7 product. Today's topic is how to register a standalone controller and agent with Jock Cockpit. Let's get started. Initial operation is performed after the installation of controller agent and Jock Cockpit. Make sure the Jock Cockpit agent and controller are installed and running. Login to the Jock Cockpit dashboard. Use your credential and click on the login button. The default credential includes the account root and the password root. If you log in into the Jock Cockpit for the first time after the installation, then the controller register window will appear. The standalone controller and Jock Cockpit are in the scope of open source license. The initial operation after installation of G7 agent, controller and Jock Cockpit is to register the agent and controller with the Jock Cockpit to establish a connection between the agent and the controller. A dialog window appear after successful login into the Jock Cockpit. This window asks you to register a controller. You will find the same dialog later on the user manage controller agents menu item from the register screen for controller add a title for the standalone controller and URL for the controller the URL for job cockpit is the host name and port of the controller as seen by the job cockpit the URL is used by job cockpit to connect a controller ensure that the controller port is accessible this might include adding firewall rules to allow access to this port from the server that jock cockpit is operated on click on the test connection button to test the connection and it will display a pop-up for successful or unsuccessful connection results click on submit button after the connection between the job cockpit and the controller, you can add the agents. To register an agent, switch to the manage controller and agent view. As we are already over there, click on the action menu of the controller and use add agent button. A pop-up window will appear. The agent is assigned an agent ID which is unique identifier for this agent that cannot be modified during the lifetime of an agent. Change of the agent ID requires that the agent is removed and re add to the job cockpit. It is not necessary to uninstall or reinstall an agent. The agent name is unique identifier that is used for example in the job cockpit configuration view to assign agent to the job. The agent name can be modified later on. The agent URL includes the protocol, the host name and the port used to operate the agent. Give an agent ID, agent name. If required, you can also add multiple agent aliases to access the agent. The URL include the host and the port on which agent is installed. Here I am using local host with the port number after the entries click on the submit button to the dashboard from here you can see the controller and agent are up and running To give an easy start, we suggest that you download the job variables that you can import into the job cockpit from the configuration view. The variable include the job resources which can be used to publish global environment variable to your shell job. You import the job variable, move to the configuration view. Click on the import option. A 
pop-up window will appear. Choose the file from the local system. You can download this from the KB article. The link is added to the description. Override this and click on submit button. You can see the defaults directories are added and you can use all this job variable into the shell job. Here our register a standalone controller and agent with job cockpit completed successfully. Please comment for any question. Thank you for watching our video.